Hey, yo, what's up, guys? We're back here with a brand new chapter. I mean, oh, this is the saddest chapter. It actually just broke my heart with the insane reveal of Kuma's backstory. It's up there with Law and all the other straw hats. It is just such a sad backstory. Words can't explain it. And obviously, in a sad backstory, Oda couldn't finish the chapter. So the cover request is it's going straight into the chapter, no delay. Just remember, like, subscribe, comment, and we're going straight into the chapter. It said that Oda couldn't finish the chapter, and well, some of the pages and sketches. I mean, Oda's doing weekly chapters. I think it's better for him to do two week chapters, because let's be honest, Oda just works too hard on One Piece. And yeah, then we, we go to Revolutionary uh, Army HQ in Baltigo, requesting backup in uh, back backup. The basically, the um, basically Kuma's being very uh, very aggressive because Ginny's been captured. So basically, he's saying, "I'll go. Don't be rash, Kuma. You've been attacking recklessly ever since that day. What the the guy's huge. Where did you come from? Everyone's saying Ginny's been captured. That is, or we already know that. Yes, sir. It seems she caused the eye of a celestial dragon." So, they took her on a government ship because the Celestial wanted, yeah. So basically, they took Jenny, kidnapped her just because they wanted Jenny. And the enemies took us by surprise, uh, saying the Revolutionary Army that was there. They, here's to the Revolutionary Army, because they just freed a new kingdom. Please forgive us, dragon, it's me. I've worn myself out and have to return by ship. I mean, Dragon is looking at Ford list right now. He's looking at Ford Watch all the time. So around two years have passed since Commander Jindy of the Revolutionary Army was kidnapped. And then, yeah. And then, uh, Bonnie, we say we're nearly there, Bonnie. Kuma is Jenny. She's on the line now. So basically, she's on transponders now after two years. And then, hey. Kumachi finally made it to the back to the service and then everyone's like Ginny they didn't want me around after I got sick I was thrown away what a stroke of luck and then Kuma's like you're sick question mark I want you to see everyone one last time but this call will have to be our goodbye and then everyone's going crazy oh hey talking about Ginny where are you I can be there in an instant I was afraid I'd never see you again Kumachi sorry but I'm at death's uh, doorstep. I'm glad you care about me, but you really shouldn't come uh, when I'm like this. Dragon, and then everyone's like, Kumachi has a big heart. Please take care of him for me. That's what Ginny says. There's only one place she'd go now. Get out of my way. And then Kuma, gone. And Kumachi, I just want you to know, he doesn't even hear that I always have, always will. Kuma didn't even get to hear that. This is already getting really tragic, and it's not the worst part. Kuma already had a sad backstory. It's not the worst part. And with Jenny, he goes all the way to the church. She's, but I'm afraid it happened when she was exposed to natural light. Her face, her entire body, it turned all blue in the sun, and her skin hardened like scone. And then, basically, she contracted this disease called blue sapphire, similar to what. If you remember Laws, the people from Laws Town, Law, like they think if they touch sunlight, they like blue sapphires come out there. It's just all very sad. And then we look at the memories of him and Ginny, and then he's just very, very sad. She burnt up her remaining the time exposing herself to the sun so she could cross the ocean and make it home to us. Because she wanted to ensure Bonnie's safety. So basically, Ginny and the Celestial Dragon had Bonnie. And that's just, I don't know what to say. Uh, you can rest now, Ginny. I swear I'll raise her well. Kuma, it's not even his own child, but he's raising Bonnie because of Ginny. I don't know what to say. This man has gone through a lot. That's all wrong. You're, you're, you're tilting the body too much. Is this better, Bonnie? Look, he just basically uh, um, training Bonnie, like helping Bonnie, and like acting as a father figure. One of something we don't see in One Piece very, very often. Very much to believe, we don't see it very often at all. 
So for Kumo to be doing some handles and it's not even his own child, I mean, I don't know what to say. We see some sketches of him doing his first Ursus shock. We see him, uh, yeah. And we see a sketch of him and Sabo. These are sketches. Remember, Oda couldn't get to finish the chapter. And one of the villagers, uh, villagers suggested that he put Bonnie in a cage because he big, Bonnie small, big, over small, Bonnie die. So that was a good idea. So he did listen. And then he said, what in the world are you doing? You've been boarded up all of the church's windows. Close the door. Take a look here. It's the blue stone that Ginny uh, had. Hey, isn't that? It looks just like what Ginny had at the end. I'll call a doctor. And then he's like, thank you. Mm, it caused by the sunlight, you say. Are you sure? Why don't we try taking her outside? It doesn't seem to be white lead poisoning. Yeah, that's the law disease. You're, uh, you're quite the revolutionary commander. And Bonnie's contracted the same disease as her mother had. Yes, I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I have to stay by her side. I understand it's important to live with our regrets. You can use her contacts to reach out to doctors all over the world from her. From for her. I owe you, Dragon. That's a Kuma. Kuma, you don't owe Dragon. He owes you. He's on Ford Watch all this time. So we go, go ahead. Seven years uh, ago, like when Bonnie was five. And then we see her, um, um, like, fighting, nothing much. And then Kuma saying, please don't go outside. Even standing near the doorway can give you a uh, pain. I know you're, uh, you're a, uh, you're worried a lot. I was just kidding. Please don't even joke about it. I, I hate it when you get all sad and worried. So, we, we go down, Bonnie. Has still had the blue stone, like the blue sapphire disease, and then we see Kuma has this like book in his um, place where is the sky islands up there, and then he starts singing the hearts of liberation, drums of liberation, and telling Bonnie all the stories, and then we see she's contracted some the same blue sapphire disease, so. If, but even if you completely prevent any exposure, I'm afraid it's only a matter of time before the disease catches up with you. Forgive me for being so blunt, but your daughter has another years at best, another five years at best. It'll be a miracle if uh, she reaches her tenth birthday. When Kuma says, "I'm afraid," he's saying, "I'm afraid it's simply terminal." Going by our current scientific understanding of it, and then it's just sad. And Bonnie heard it all. Uh, yeah. Mm. She just like misunderstanding it. So it's not. It's just sad. It's, it's just sad. And uh, and then we see the king comes back, and then only one year later, and he already like going get it. Oh my god! This is such a sad chapter. I don't know what to say. First, Oda can't make the fourth chapter. That's sad. Kuma's backstory already is sad. Now that, oh my god, I have no words. If you are sad, which you 100% are, like 150% are, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Break next week. Bye.